Hi, my name is Terrestrial. I'm a full-time Twitch streamer and content creator, and today I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your very own sky edits on your Animal Crossing photos in Canva. When I first saw people doing sky edits, I just kind of assumed that it was super complicated and I wouldn't know how to do it. <laughs> which I soon found out to be super wrong because there is a very handy dandy tool in Canva that we're gonna be using that makes sky edits so easy. Though to do this edit, you do need Canva Pro. And if you wanna try it out for free for 30 days, I do have my affiliate link down in the description. You not only get this tool with Canva Pro, but also a whole selection of photos, clip art, music, videos, you name it, you probably get it with Canva Pro. <laughs> And one last thing, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video useful. I would love to know what y'all think. All right, let's jump in and get to it. All right, so first things first, we need to go and make our canvas. Go ahead and press create a design. Now switch photos are in 720p, which means they need a width of 1280 pixels by a height of 720 pixels. So go ahead and type that in and then press create new design. So now we need to go ahead and grab the photo that we wanna edit. So there is a bug in Canva right now so that if you make this picture the entire size of the canvas, it'll default set it as the background. This is not what we want because later on we're going to put a sunset as the background. So make sure when you're doing this editing, it is not the entire size of the canvas yet. All right, so let's go ahead and get to editing. You're going to click on your picture and then press edit image. From here, you're going to select background remover. Now this is going to basically take out the sky and anything that's in the background. You'll see it's not 100% perfect and you will probably have to make some adjustments and changes, but that's okay, they're usually pretty minimal. So it looks like for us, all we're gonna have to do is erase this cloud and then there's a little bit of cleaning up that we need to do around the squeakoid. To do that, go ahead and press erase. Now erase is going to do exactly how it sounds. <laughs> it's going to erase stuff in your picture. You can adjust the brush size to be either smaller or larger depending on how much of the picture you wanna take out. I tend to go for a smaller brush just to get into those fine details. But literally all you do is swipe over while you're holding down your mouse and it'll erase whatever you need it to erase. Now let's say Canva accidentally takes out something that you want in the picture. That's where Restore comes into play. Restore does exactly how it sounds. <laughs> it restores. So let's say Canva wipes out some of the gazebo. You can go over here and press Restore and bring it right back. These tools are super handy dandy. Just make sure that when you're editing, you don't press done if you still need to erase or restore. For some reason, my brain likes to do that sometimes. Don't do it until you're completely satisfied with the picture. And for time's sake, I'm not gonna go and clean up the edges. You'll get the idea though. Go ahead and press done and you'll have your skyless picture. So now you're ready to go and find the picture of a sky that you want. Usually, I don't have a picture already on hand that I'm wanting to use. I just use the photos that Canva supplies. So if you're going to do this too, go ahead and go over to photos. And then you can just search for sky and you'll have a multitude of options. I think for me, I'm going to pick this one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make this picture the background. So go ahead and fill up your canvas with your sky. Make it have the parts showing that you want. Honestly, I think we can get away with going this much up. I want some pinks and purples in there. Go ahead and send it to the back. Go ahead and adjust the picture so that it reaches the full length of the canvas. And you have your sky edit. Now, obviously, you can do this with pictures you upload yourself. I just didn't have any on hand. But Canva has so many sky options. That's a great way to go if you're looking for something quick and easy. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you found it useful. And now you can go and make your own sky edits with your Animal Crossing photos. There's no need for Photoshop. There's no need for some other photo editor. <laughs> you can do it all in Canva. Again, if you need Canva Pro, I have an affiliate link that you can use and it'll give you Canva Pro for free for 30 days so you can try it out, see how it goes. And if you like it, you keep it. If you don't, you don't, it's totally fine but I've left a little link for that down in my description. And if you found this video useful, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe or share it with anyone who also might need to edit their Animal Crossing photos. It's very important. You gotta get the word out. <laughs> but thank you so much again for watching. I'm live on Twitch Monday through Friday if you ever wanna come check us out. And thank you, have a really good rest of your day.